Hey guys, what's up? Is your friendly neighborhood Ubigus here back again with another uh, Slide Aspire video. What's the daily climb? This is uh, Mondays, by the way, March 26th. Um, all enemies start with slow. Start each combat with bonus strength. Both sides do. And you get three copies of a card every time you add one to your deck. Hmm. Sure. Let's give it a shot. It sounds fun. I think the part that's... I mean, all of it kind of sounds pretty sweet. Basically, we're going to be looking for multi-hits. Things that hit multiple times to synergize with lethality. Obviously, Pummel would be insane. Uh, anything that is cheap as well is going to be good because of time dilation. And time dilation and lethality do have quite a bit of synergy. So... I mean, it's clear we're going to start at one of these spots. And I guess we'll start at this one. <laughs> I guess? I don't really know. Um, I believe he's dead? He may not be dead. Well, that's just real quick. 14. He is dead. Alright. <laughs> uh, I don't think Infernal Blade's the pickup. I don't think Reckless Charge... Actually, Reckless Charge is, like, maybe the, the silliest idea. <laughs> but it might be okay. But I, I'm gonna skip. I don't want to be too quick to just be like, Oh, let me just, you know play all this garbage or whatever. So, 10%. Hmm. So, uh, mm, eh. well, I mean, we could do this and then that, right? I guess. I was trying to figure out a way to get a bash on the spike slime, but it shouldn't matter. You are fairly deceased. <clears throat> Alright, shrug. Get triple shrug in the deck. That seems kind of sweet. Especially if we can pick ourselves up uh, a body slam. Or three. Uh, I'm a little upset that we missed out on Juzu. Holy shit, are the these are so crispy. Am I mistaken? These look so much more crisp. All of these. Like, way higher res. Oh, if these are not higher res, then I got new eyeballs. Because these are way higher res. Before, they were like, this one's still low res. You can see, right? Look on the, specifically the pestle part, I guess. I don't know, this isn't really a pestle and mortar, right? But <laughs> look at the stick, right? And then compare to this shit. Look at how crispy that line work is, dude. Holy fuck. All right, well, um, I mean, the shop has nothing for us, so. Oh, well. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you can't remove, and <laughs> now we have three doubts. That's probably fine, to be completely honest with you, but I definitely shouldn't have done that. Um, I think I will take an oddly smooth stone, and uh, a finesse is going to be great as well, or three. So I probably shouldn't have added <laughs> three doubts to the deck, but uh, you know, oops. <laughs> uh, may as well just play that first, get a little bit of extra damage. So we're effectively perma weak, which is uh, you know, it's not great. Also, I, I just you know, I probably shouldn't be playing all these skills. Against the, uh, the gremlin... Gremlin knob. <laughs> we might just instantly be fucking dead, dude. <laughs> right. We'll see. Hey, we might be able to kill him this turn. Yeah, we're gonna have to play all these for sure. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Alright, it's fine. Look, we're only taking 22 on this turn. Oh, no. Oh, 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 God. Hey, right. I mean, we're not dead, <laughs> technically. Strike? Fuck! <laughs> oh, no! All right, it's fine. Just kill me. We'll, we'll give it another shot, even though the score will then be, you know, we, we got 34 for the daily. It doesn't matter, because we'll just do it again, and this time we know better. So, no big deal. We'll go, like, the same route, I think. And this time, uh not make the horrific mistake of picking up doubt. Yeah. Alright. So the good news about dailies, right, is that basically all the stuff is exactly the same every time. Uh, not quite literally all of it, but like mostly all of it. So I don't even know, do we even take shrug? There was no body slam up to what we saw. And we won't be able to afford all the stuff that I wanted to afford. So, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go Thunderclap. Because 
vulnerability is super super good for uh for this i believe do not take doubt and then we can't afford shit right could afford a, a heavy blade or three um that wouldn't be literally the worst i think we're just gonna skip on on this stuff though give him a thunderclap and uh, probably give him a thunderclap and maybe give him a strike there. So the reason thunderclap is so good is because we start every single combat with three strength uh, as well as the fact that uh, 14 plus oh god uh, it doesn't matter right? Like plus anything and then we can kill him with this. Unless we, let's just take 17. 17 fine. Matryoshka is good. Rampage is cute, but Sword Boom is precisely what I was talking about for what we want. I think I'm going to go this way. Ooh, tea set and bag of prep is awesome. Now, as far as upgrading cards are concerned, I think you just upgrade Bash. Because it's really awkward to upgrade stuff. Happy Flower is fine. Prayer Wheel is actually quite good as well. Ooh, you can actually remove a card from your deck. Yeah. Let's remove a basic strike. I think that's a good idea. Ooh, <laughs> we could remove a card from our deck. Let's remove a basic strike. I think that's a good idea. Oh, hello, Mr. Shopman. Well, there's a bag of marbles. You know, I'm a little sad that we're passing up triple flex, but you know what? Bag of marbles, absolutely what we want. Let's find a relic, please. Thanks. Well, a little bit on the slow side, but you know, it'll do, probably. <laughs> So, let's start with this guy. Uh, how much is this gonna do? It's enough to kill him, so. We also start with, like, infinity energy. And there's a flex. There's also a pommel. But I think I'm just gonna take flex, and we're gonna rest, and we're gonna fight this boy. Flexes are great, because they count as, uh, cards for slow, of course. Um, I believe we've just fucked him up really good. <laughs> uh... Well, let's kill them both. There you go. They worked out reasonably well. Three offerings in the deck. It's really spooky to have that much self damage, but I think you just do it. There's the Sozu. I mean, yeah, you just Sozu. I'm not disappointed in Sozu. I just, you know, in my brain I'm like, oh, Sozu, energy relic, awesome. Ah, but I'll never have a potion ever again. But I think that's fine. So now, let us steer towards probably double elite, if possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Offering. Uh, this one, that one. This one, that one. <laughs> Alright, it worked out. Uh, I don't think we need headbutt. I don't think we need shrug. I think, I think this deck is in a great spot. Chance to receive. You know what? Let's go. We only got six, huh? Despite adding three to our deck. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll admit that that's my B. But in fairness, it's pretty fucking dumb, don't you agree? Hmm. This is fine. Can toss out one of these. Can toss out one of those. These guys, toss out one of those, bop -a bop I, I should have done the math, because we could have killed them without taking uh, the, the last four that we took, for sure. Should have just done the fucking math, dude. Yeah, good enough. So this, that's obviously the downside of getting that curse, is that, um... Well, I mean, it just fucks us, basically, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh... Do you do this one first? No, you do, do this one first, right? Yeah. Don't think it mattered, to be honest. <laughs> um, I don't think we need more sword booms, so that's fine. Hello. Oh. No. Alright. Start with that. Then one of those. And then strike the highest health guy. And then one of these. We can still come across uh, something that's pretty good. One, two, three. Wait, one, two. Yeah, okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, another flex. I don't think so. Uh, weird, weird. I know. But like, I feel like 3 is definitely sufficient, and 6 is probably at least a little bit overkill. I'm very upset, to be completely honest. 
We did get to keep the uh, vulnerability going, but I do have three offerings in my deck that I just haven't seen for the past four combats, and it's very, it's starting to irk me, to be completely honest with you. Yeah, do that one, then do this one, and then they're all done. Vajra's great. Pommel's exactly what this deck wants. I know you're saying, but Uber Goose. I don't know why you have such a bizarre accent, but you're saying stuff like, but Uber Goose. Um, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I mean, that should be... Yeah, 27 times 5 is often enough to kill a man like that. Dreamcatcher's fine. Three limit breaks is definitely overkill. But if we get unlucky, it can actually be good for us, so I'm, I'm gonna do it. And we can even upgrade one of them. Or upgrade flexes or offerings. Probably flexes are a little bit more valuable to upgrade. I don't think we're gonna need to play greater than three limit breaks on average. I feel like three is definitely sufficient. You know what? I should have struck first. That was dumb. I, I was, um, I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking that he would start with, uh, Voln for some reason. So let's just upgrade these flexes. <clears throat> And that's her strategy, huh? That's pretty good, I think. Yeah, use it. And there's a limit break, that's pretty good. I guess play this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Do I need to play this to kill him? Probably not, actually. Almost certainly not. I haven't quite done this map, but I believe we're good to go. Alright, yeah. <laughs> we're very good to go. Hello, Mr. Shopman. There is a whirlwind. I definitely don't want three whirlwinds, though, to be completely honest. I know that seems ridiculous, by the way, <laughs> but I think that I'm making the right choice. And we're just going to take that guy. Who's our boss? Collector. Um, yeah, we could just upgrade. We could upgrade our last Flexeroni here. It's probably going to work out just fine. Trip. It's not awful, and it's completely free, so I'll take it. Uh, this one does more, because it hits more. Alright, that's a pretty good first turn. Toss on one of these guys, 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 toss on one of these guys. guys. Alright, it worked out. Uh, by the way, the collector was dead if we rolled pretty much anything else as far as RNG is concerned. I'm glad we did not rest. Very happy about that decision. We definitely don't need three exhumes, and the other things are not so good. Tiny house is probably the way to go. I mean... We could go Philo. Now I'm kind of wishing I did pick up the Whirls. Mm, could also go Sneko Eye. Sneko Eye is very awkward. Because we don't have anything that costs two except for Bash. So everything on average will go up in cost, but we do draw two additional cards. Now nah, let's just go Tiny House. Upgrade Limit Break, I'll take it. And yeah, we could just skip on this. It's fine. We don't want to be adding too many cards to our deck. We're pretty, pretty happy with where it's at. Um, I do want to fight a bunch of elites, though. Oh, hell yeah. I see a sick route. Oh, hell yeah, gamers. All right. So let's start with this guy. Uh, then go this guy. And then just do that. And unfortunately, take 13. Actually, if we didn't Apotheosis, I believe we didn't have to take any damage. I think we had him dead if I didn't play Apotheosis. <laughs> It's hard to convince myself that, like, I just have enough fucking damage, you know? Because I kind of just fucking do. Right? Like, we just, uh, one... Yeah, we can play all this stuff. I mean, that's not quite lethal. Which is, uh, you know, not the best, but we can start with this guy. Do that. And then, unfortunately... Okay, fortunately, take zero, I guess. Ice cream, theoretically, is fine. Three upgraded flexes to add to the pile. We don't need it. But you have no idea how tempted I am. I'm doing it. I'm fucking nuts. I'm out of my goddamn mind. I'm not adding that one. <laughs> Alright. You got me with, with one more set of flexes. But I won't. I will not. I refuse to do more than that. Alright.
definitely didn't need to play all those offerings. So whoops. Hopefully kill at least one of these guys on turn one. Feels like that it seems to be the way we're going. I think you limit break before you flash a steal for sure. Uh, and then probably flash, well how much... So th we, we already have one dead, so let's just flash the lower health guy. Do this. Uh, I guess do that, and then this? Yeah, alright. Take four. And he's dead. Pantograph is great. Like, theoretically, Heavy Blade is great for us, but I don't think we need Heavy Blade at all. <laughs> I think we're good. Uh, I will just upgrade an offering. Make those a little better. Alright, hopefully we turn one you. Looks likely. Um... Perfect. Yeah, uh, I believe we've we've successfully done it. Toxic Egg is theoretically fine. I mean, obviously we're not going to really be adding more cards, but, you know, <laughs> it's not going to hurt us. Hey, this is a little unfortunate, but I think, I think that's alright. Um, who are we killing on turn one? Probably the guy who's going to hit us harder. Well, it's really awkward, because... We're gonna get hit with spiked times three. If we hit one of the spiky boys. So actually, I'm gonna hit this guy. And then we take zero here. I think that's the better line. Potentially. I mean, maybe, maybe it'll turn out to be incorrect. <clears throat> Shit. Uh, I think you start you do it this way, right? Because then that guy dies there. And then we get spiked a bunch. But... It's alright. Hello. There's a bottled flame. That's pretty fucking sick, I think. There's also this. We can't afford both. Both Paper Frog and Bottled Flame. Well, what would we even be bottling? You know what? No, fuck it. You go Paper Frog. For show. And you could get three bandies. Nah. Holy hell. <laughs> Holy fuck. Womp. Alright, there you go. Damn, dude, I wish I didn't fuck up so bad on the first... <laughs> on the first go-around, dude. Alright, so what are we... How much... Holy shit. Okay, so this dude's deceased. In fact, I should have deceased this man. In an attempt to save more of my own hit points, but... We're taking 12, that's not too bad. We still have Panthograph, so as long as we don't take much more damage, we're fucking good to go, man. Uh, yeah. Doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> They're very dead. Lose Strike, hey! <laughs> you said lose? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, yeah, just upgraded another offering, and we're, we should be good to go. I mean, we'll, we'll find out. Right, we'll find out. Of course, they do have artifacts, so it'll be a little awkward. The good news is, uh, they no longer- we no longer have to deal with artifact. So that's good. Um, you definitely play the pummel here. And then transmute. Holy fuck. A moly. I took zero. <laughs> Despite not killing any of them, I took zero damage. Uh, how much? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Do it this way, I think. Alright, well, it worked out. Uh, I was thinking, like, ah, yeah, Donu will almost certainly die, and yada, yada, yada. It doesn't fucking matter, dude. <laughs> it doesn't matter. This run was so broken. <laughs> it is unreal. <clears throat> My score was good. It's just too bad that it... I, I'm fairly certain it doesn't count. Uh, because I, I lost on the first one. So there's... Oh, I didn't take damage on literally any boss. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, because, yeah, no, that's correct. Yeah, I'll take it. Sure. So 996. Uh, let's double check. It shouldn't... My score should be awful. Yeah. That's unfortunate, but uh, that was still a very fun run, and I know <laughs> this video was 19 minutes?! How do I fill the time? Do I just do another run? Maybe I just do a, a silent ascension run. Yeah, alright. I mean, do you guys have the time to listen to me whine? <clears throat> so, 
choose a rare to obtain is pretty sweet. When I see it, I gotta go for it. I know the correct choice was burst, right? I'm 100% certain the correct choice was burst. But sometimes who gives a shit about correct? <clears throat> so, you know. Uh, I mean, I think you just phase both, right? And then just one of these guys. So this is the this is the new curse for ascending. Um, it is changed on the beta branch as of my recording this, which you know carries to you guys as well. Uh, <clears throat> so now it, it it'll have ethereal at that point, um, which will make it a lot less awful to deal with. So that is nice. Of course, I don't have that benefit, but what are you gonna do? I'm gonna skip most cards. For sure. Um, I mostly want to pick up cards that are going to help me draw specific amounts. So the prepared is great. We can just remove strikes. That's no problem. And then we're going to want to well laid plans ASAP. Uh, I also probably do want to try and fight an elite here. Remove a card from your deck. Yeah. Let's remove another strike. Maybe a defend this time actually. Let's go defend. Keep it, you know, mix it up a little bit. All right. So, as long as our top card isn't nice. Okay, so we do indeed get to finale. Womp. There you go. Already doing pretty well. I will gain gold, yeah. That's fine. Um, yeah, let's fight this elite. Go to, go to campfire and then probably to shop. Seems fine to me. <clears throat> question is, do I, do I just break him out? Like, right now? It's very awkward, because there's, like, no way to set up the grand finale. Quickly, at least. Let's, so let's think, real quick. Um, we have 13 cards in our deck. If we... So that'll be 12. And then... 1, and it'll be 8. And then... And I know, I know I'm not describing what I'm thinking of, because it's already hard enough to think of. And then three. And then... So on the third cycle through the deck, we could potentially grand finale. All right, that's that's late enough that I think we're going to do just fine waking him up. This is going to be a while. So my thought here is we can get this going if we do not play prepared. And I know that seems a little bit insane, but uh, I believe this to be the correct decision. So also don't play prepared here. I think I am going to pop this. <clears throat> and now... Wait, something went horrendously wrong. No, I was supposed to prepare. Wait. No, I probably just fucked up the math real bad is what happened. So if I play prepared, then we'll have two. Two and ten. Then three and seven. Yeah, we actually have to play prepared on like every run through. Alright, we're fucking dead, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if that's obvious, but uh, I am I am fairly deceased. Yeah, so we actually have to play this literally every cycle. So I, I already fucked up bad. Um, I mean, we, we still have a chance. It's not a great chance. Why is it, wait, why is it, like, not changing? <laughs> Some, something's wrong here. Because the numbers in draw and discard should be shifting more than it staying at 5, 3, 5. I mean, I'm clearly fucking something up in my brain. But, like, how is it always... Like, literally... If... How is this always 8? Should it always be 8? I don't know, just kill me, whatever. Let's, get, let's restart, give it another shot, whatever. There's no way that that would have always been 8. I don't know, I, there's something in my head is either completely broken, or... There's a bug. I'm gonna lean towards something in my head is fucked. Rather than something in the game is fucked. Um, 
because I, I do trust the game more than my brain. <laughs> so, all right, so we're gonna double defend, so just neutralize you, uh, defend, defend, strike. Take Uno. You're dead to two strikes, you're not. Ugh. I mean, playing two strikes, like we could have taken zero, but we would have also simultaneously made no progress at all. So, I think I made the right choice. Yeah, escape plan's fine. Really bad draws. Mm. Okay, that's very good, actually. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Hopefully neutralize this turn. We did not draw neutralize this turn. Uh, but we can still block all but one and probably kill. Yeah. Not awful. I will take a dagger spray. It's early enough. Dagger spray. Uh, I think we will expend the neutralize there because obviously it wouldn't have done anything otherwise. Hey. Obviously, this run's going better, <laughs> uh, but, you know, that, that's pretty much to be expected. All right, now we got to make a choice. Blade, dance, dagger spray, dash. All are actually quite good. Could take none, though. <clears throat> I don't hate the idea of taking none, just in case, you know, I, if I were to go for, like, poison strategy... All three would be pretty mediocre, if not outright bad. So I, I think I'm going to go for none, and we're going to see where we can go from there. We can kill you in two strikes, and then take fucking 12. Alternatively, if we do two blocks, we take eight. I think I'm going to opt to take eight, and then kill you with one strike. And then, you know, draw poorly. <laughs> Oh, god damn it. God damn it. Oh, I'll play both of my two blocks. I'll take two. Thanks. Appreciate that. Alright, at least this draw was actually good. He just strikes on a turn where he was not attacking. Alright, this, this turn is uh not actually good. But we did full block, so I guess it's okay. He's dead to two strikes. All right, you know what? I'll, I'll admit it was fine. Kind of wishing I took the uh, thing, but we'll take we'll take backflip. <clears throat> All right. Obviously, I, I probably just take Omomori. Almost certainly, just the best pickup in the shop. I'll take it. Mm, I do want to rest because it won't even full heal, and we have an elite that we have to fight. So. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be fine. I don't like this man. I do like this draw, though. Perfect. And now... It's pretty good. Just do all this. Um, no reason to backflip. And no reason to play defense. So. Nice. Uh, it doesn't matter, they're both doing the same shit. In fact, I, yeah, just split, because this guy's dead to just strike, and they're not weakening, they're frail. So, kill him to just strike, and unfortunately can't kill him, so I'm taking four. Great. Riddle. Hmm. I mean, Riddle is damage, which we are severely lacking. <sighs> I'm not going to take it. I think we're fucking dead. All right. I'm going to do that to this guy. He's the one that I, I want to weaken next turn. I mean, obviously I can't. You know, I should have done it to... Well... I don't know, I guess we could just focus back guy then, actually. Alright, so backflip. And yeah, let's focus back guy. Because we just want to, we want to weaken this guy probably most of the time. Okay. 
Okay, we'll just set up more blocks. Gotta preserve my health as much as possible. And this guy's not... I'm not too terribly concerned. Oh, good, good, good draws. How many dazes were in the deck? Oh, there were six in a 22 card deck. How many did you fucking draw? Oh yeah, that's right. Four of them. Fucking four! <laughs> what the hell, dude? It's actually ridiculous. Actually insanity. We'll do it this way. Backflip would have blocked the same amount. We would never have blocked more. Uh, and this way, eh, it's unfortunate. Hey, it's fine. Um, I think I will just focus this sentry, because next turn this sentry is not attacking. So left boy is the target. And unfortunately we did not get there. So I will just split the wickets now, simply because we now don't have to worry about left boy for a bit. Especially with the dagger spray, that's nice. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'll just do it this way. Oh, there you go. Literally any damage kills either of them. Well, one of them, this one. And then we just need a strike, which is not super likely. We did it, though. Smooth stone is awesome. There is a, a footwork. Footwork is great. So I'm going to take footwork. Top tier card. Sundial is good as well. I like that. All right, let's see what we can go. go c can go. All right, 100 gold is fine, especially because we're aiming for a shop soon. <clears throat> right now, that is. Or a Calcum's good, but I do see an Adrenaline. And you know me. It's also another footwork, which I actually do think I want. Uh, compared to the other things, yeah. Yeah, let's go footwork. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna go this way, because we don't have any more gold. So I want to hit up multiple campfires. For show. So we can full block. I think that's gonna be fine. We can play very defensively against Blue Slaver, I think. Could be wrong, but I believe that to be true. Yeah. Wham. Alright, we're already full blocking. Unfortunately, <clears throat> we don't have any offense yet. <laughs> or we have very little offense at the current moment. That's not necessarily the end of the world, though. Because, yeah, we can, we can just play these fights really slow, and it should be fine most of the time. Another backflip. So I... I definitely underrate Tools of the Trade. I'm just going to take it, and we're going to try it out. Nice. Um, you know, I might even just upgrade it so it doesn't ever cost me energy. But I think upgrading a footwork would be better overall. Or a neutralize. Hey, let's let's upgrade tools of the trade. Let's see what we can do. I like that. It's good. Um, pretty much no reason to backflip, so I'll just hold off. Uh, yeah, we just want to block this turn like crazy. Neutralize is great as well. <clears throat> and we are taking zero. And. Probably ditch strike. Yeah, if that's okay. Da ba da ba ba da. Da ba boop. Do ba boop. Bop. Beep. Boop. Da. All right. So now we have infinity decks. Uh, the bad news is we still have to play multiple blocks frequently. And by frequently, I mean occasionally, but, you know, who's counting? Uh, well, we don't need that. Honestly, I think you just triple strike. This is going to be a weird fight. <laughs> Very weird fight. I think we might end up losing to burns, having a lot of burns in the deck. All right, we can probably drop that guy. Yeah. Nice, we got two. <laughs> And we'll, we'll see. We'll see how we do against Burns, but uh, I'm definitely not optimistic. Uh, 24. This is still fine. Like, we're, we're taking two, which will actually draw us three additional cards, which is good. 
Bad news is we have infinity burns, as previously mentioned. And I don't really have a lot of uh, energy. <laughs> I, this is another burn. This is bad. Like, we, we're fucking dead, I think. <laughs> He's not even at half. Our deck is like mostly burns. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know about this one, team. <laughs> Another two. <laughs> oh god. Oh yeah, we're we're dead. We're very we're we're incredibly deceased. <clears throat> Maybe we're not, but like also eight times six is a very large number. Yeah, we're at three. Our, our 20 card deck has been increased quite substantially. How many burns are... Oh, yeah. Oof. Oof. Woof. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we're, we're actually just dead before he even attacks. Ow. Oh, we're not. We're at one. Yeah, we died. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Um. Well, well shit. I mean, I, we don't have enough time to do a, a run, I don't think. So you know what? Instead, if you guys if you guys are like, oh, I don't want the video to end like that, I got great news. Do I? Hang on. Do I want to give a, a... Do I have a traffic anecdote? I gotta think of one real quick. Because I know I haven't given you guys a, a traffic anecdote in a while. Gotta, gotta remember one. So I told the, the Great McDonald's heist... I told the, the ridiculous day where somebody nearly T-boned somebody else going like 50 to 60 in a 35 through a red light uh i told oh god no there are literally all of them are vanishing from my brain because <laughs> i know i have so many maybe i don't have one that's like a full-on anecdote i don't know what i will say Oh, you know what? How about instead of an anecdote, let me just, let me talk about people I hate on the road. How about that? Let's ramble about people I hate on the road. I got it. All right. There's one kind of person on the road that I fucking hate so much. All right. And I'm sure a lot of you guys who drive, you've got people on the road that you actually just wish that you could jump out of your car and punch them directly in the fucking nose, right? Like that's what you want to do to them. And I'm sure for a lot of you, that includes people who don't use turn signals. I agree with that, but I gotta say, I at this point, I think I hate people who do use turn signals, but don't turn more, right? Because if you don't use turn signals, the only time that that's really an issue is if you're making a left turn, really, most of the time, right? If you're making a right turn and you don't use a turn signal, yeah, people behind you, they're gonna have to slow down and all that sort of stuff, like... Sure, and it's it's annoying, but it's not super dangerous in most cases. Putting on a turn signal and not turning is dangerous a lot of the time. Let me describe that real quick. So if you're at a if you're at a stoplight and you're allowed to turn on red, right? And then you see there's literally just one car in the lane that you're going to turn into. Just one, right? And that guy He's, he's driving up, right, and he's getting close to the intersection, and you're like, okay, I'll wait, right, let him go by, and then I'll turn right on red, and I'll be in the lane, and I'll, I'll be good to go. But then that guy flicks on his turn signal to turn right, and you go, oh, he's turning at this intersection, because his turn signal has been on for the past 50 feet before arriving at the intersection. So obviously he's going to be turning at this intersection. And then he fucking doesn't as you're pulling out into the same lane as him while he's barreling down the fucking road, right? And his turn signal's on. And, it, like, that's just stupid and dangerous, right? That's so frustrating to deal with. I hate that kind of person so much because, like, not using a turn signal, like I said, is annoying. But frequently it's not 
dangerous. It really is only dangerous when making a left turn. I guess if you're in somewhere where you drive on left, that would be a right turn. Um, but, like, that's the only time that not using turn signal is, is a problem, I think, right? Otherwise, it's just annoying. But using a turn signal and not turning can actually cause a car crash. And I f fucking hate anybody who drives in such a way that they can actively cause a car crash because they're being stupid, right? I, I just want sometimes, like, I have this feeling that I just wish I could get into a car crash with that person and it would be provably their fault, right? Like, I could put up with dealing with getting in another car crash. Whatever, fuck it. As long as I'm not dead or, or permanently disabled because of the car crash, fuck it. Teach them a lesson. Get this person fucked, right? Make them lose money. I don't give a shit. Make their insurance hate them, right? Ruin whatever the fuck you can about this person who's just driving like a moron and about to cause a car crash. Fuck that guy. But I don't do it because... I'm too much of a, <laughs> I'm too much of a, uh, oh god, uh, confrontationally anxious human. <laughs> That's basically how I would describe myself. So, anyway, um, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, uh, leave a like. I also just remembered a traffic anecdote. Good news is I'm recording more after this one, so I'll have it for the next video on Thursday. Don't worry. I have, I have remembered a traffic anecdote that I probably didn't tell before. Probably. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good shit, and I'll see you guys back on Thursday.